Now select your heroes. Trying to put as, put as much harassment as they can onto this Rubik. It can be a little challenging dealing with the, the iron shells in this lane. And the lift up here Ooh. onto pure a pause. Look who's mid-air. So... Oh, you're right. Yeah, this definitely looks like a first blood. There it is. Onto pure. Drow Ranger down. And might be a second one as well with Blast Off already being spent. Malik with level one iron shell trying to tickle down White Mon but can't get the finishing touches. So Radiant Creep Wave under tower. Die. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean, right? Like you Dragon Tail, you deny a range creep, you get one last hit. Was what it was uh, primarily used for. Right now, Topson pretty low on the mana. And like you said, not really actively looking for bottle and... I cobble my room with the dead. Oh. I don't care. Ooh. But I knew which one would get you. Yeah, very nice. Completely from fog. Yeah. And I kind of like it. Yeah, he's 16 picks, 56 point. 25% win rate. The 9 and 7. Definitely finding some good spots. And I feel like I often picked late in the draft. Right now he's we been just blasted killed him, and Gary. killed off. We... <laughs> you have, you've cursed him a little bit there. It's like same story with TA, right? She's like lowest range in the game until you start getting side blades up. She's like worse than a melee hero. <laughs> Top lane. Aggression coming out. 3v3. Tiny's rotation in onto 9 class on White Mon. The glimpse away is not going to work out. The big old double kill, a swing of the tree, clubs them into the ground. I don't think Noob minds too much. His bottle gets refilled because he's sent back to base. He can pick up the items and not much damage has been... He's connecting with the smoke. White Mon and Topson moving into enemy triangle. Maybe they can find Malik over on that far left side. Smoke breaks and Dark's here. Oh, he's in trouble. Tucking himself in behind. And he's going to drop the wall on Topson. Still going to get Dragon Tail stunned and the Stampede forward allows Tundra... To unlock the kill. Oh, they're gonna steal the stacks. At least some of it. There are two illusions, but Thompson should be able to clear them. <laughs> dragon on dragon. We see like Veil being picked up on Centaur or you know casual helm into Blink Dagger, sometimes even a Blink Dagger immediately. Overlapping their abilities a little bit, but here comes Pure. Pure has been super active. We've seen these moves. I think Ame is one of the also, a few ones who wants to make these early rotations, and who's gonna get it? Well, anyway, you're playing against Darcy, Tiny's combo, Rubik, so good thinking coming up from Toby. Yeah, it's gonna make him so, so difficult to break through. I mean, the front line from Tundra here is incredibly powerful. Topson, he's feeling the pain in the mid lane a little bit, though. Three heroes surrounding Dodge him. Dodges that stun. Sidesteps it and stays alive. Fairy fire popped in the avalanche. Comes with the wall dropped on his head as well. Topson down. Crest had to bring numbers into that mid lane, though. This could make a difference. Nine class. Oof. He looks very dead here. Gonna get bursted down. I uh, was trying to get some level... Get level six on him. Everything with this Observer Ward. A lot of people showing from quests, so that also means that Tundra knows that they're not making any kind of moves. Darkshare is showing in the top lane, so they basically know exactly where all five members are. That's why they're gonna get the jump on the Kalas. Quick and easy kill. Yeah, super simple. Shroud. Very reliant on the Stampede to get him into position, though, for the Centaur Stomps. Quest, trying to make this wraparound play. Static Storm dropped in the mid lane, though, and Malik tanky. pops the mech. Very tanky. Now the toss in, the glimpse away. White Mon has moved forward, but dies. Traded out for Malik there. The Eclipse landing on Pure on the Earth Splitter. Connecting means Drow Ranger's dead as well. Quest. Mm. Good swing back there. As they guard their mid lane, and killing Pure is a, is a massive deal for them. Keeping up to this first place, and we'll use this death off Pure to try to get some extra farm. Tundra not going to give them a freebie though. Glimpse onto the tiny noob, dragged back into Toby and Topson, and chain stunned into oblivion. No escape from the <laughs> Dragon Tail stomp after the glimpse repositioning. A bit You're going to keep your wits about you against this Tundra draft. So much. They needed to commit. They needed them close to be able to deal damage to that Darks here. Need to finish off that Hurricane Pike. I mean, once Pure has that, you know, two maneuverability tools plus the gust the movement speed that you get. As Toby's Centaur going to stampede. Stolen, though, and the turnaround there allows Noob to get the kill up in that top jungle. 
I think they've all tanked up the entirety of his team very nicely. Oh, that's a dangerous Ooh. D Ward White Mon. There's a tiny coming. Rack him into Avalanche. Dragon Tail with Static Storm, though, in onto Noob's Tiny. And he's going to get slapped up on the DK, and look at him disappear. Pre BKP with that ET Spirit on him, needs the Toby Centaur to blink and stomp to hold them back. Totten looking a little worse for wear there as he backs away from the Darks here on his wall. No Go power. Backstab. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I mean, pure, maybe baiting. He's, he's gone invis. They scan as well. To call his TP's out. Noob. Malik over near the Lotus Pool to jump in straight onto Noob, though. The Tiny's the focal point. Half health already inside the Static Storm, and it looks like Quest are just going to ditch him. Let the Tiny die while the rest have all jumped away across the map. Really trying to put the pieces together here. A 2k lead has come out from Tundra. Even with the last couple of fights going Quest's way. A toss back though here onto the Centaur. Puts him under tier 2. An awkward position to be in. I mean, Toby, he's pretty tanky. But now the physical damage really starts to come thick and fast from Noob and TA2000. Stolen. Once you start getting people using words. You know, it doesn't matter how many scholars say that's not a word. As long as the English language has people using a word, it's a real word. It gets put in the dictionary. Toby. Gonna get unalived in a second. Tree tossed at him. Centaur finished off there. Another good man, uh, four-man move out of quest. Well, needs to play more around the team. These are you don't have a tier one tower, so you might take the fight four v five. Oh, they've all got away. Hang on a second, have they? Pure as dusted. Drow Ranger stuck around. I thought they'd all TP'd out. Great move by Omar there to jump in, dust, and find the drow. Per Armor dies. Yeah. Is, is, does Tinker's Warp Flare shrink people as well? Oh, hang on a second. Topson. And he's getting tossed around. Half HP before the BKB. Dragon Form used as well. TA2000 with that Eclipse still charging forward, trying to find somebody. White one's going to blast off to the high ground, though. And a bit of protection here from Nine Class. Just static storming. Try to defend himself. The damage from the Lunar takes him down to half immediately. And Tundra right now getting run at. The last that was remaining such minute a of this play. Aegis. Toby. Uh oh. Toby's caught. Avalanche toss, damage coming. The chain stuns are perfect. Gorgeous from Quest there to take the Centaur down. That, that's interesting. Some of K gold lead in the past Radiant's like five minutes or so. If you still dragon form, you just get fireball, huh? Uh, yes, if you have shard. When you have the, when you have the shard, yeah. Uh, maybe worth stealing after all. Malik, okay, there's the pure drow damage. A lot of right click power. Has to Shadow Blade and get away though because Sobson, he's being caught out by Noob and TA2000. Malik trading himself out for the mid laner of Tundra. With BKB, Pike, and Shadow Blade, the maneuverability is there. Next up, the Shard and then probably the Daedalus for the damage. That's Topson, a big kill if they can burst him. Jumping onto the Rubik, Eclipse is out. Topson trying to bail away with his BKB and Dragon Form while the oh, Malik no, ducks here, focused by Toby and Techies. Pure, back in towards the Lunar now. Hurricane Pike, a little bit of distance. TA2000, half health, trying to mount a dodge away from danger, but a glimpse, gonna drag her Gets all the way the back BKB. towards the high ground near the Centaur, and Pure is still standing. Not sure how long for, though. Noob is chasing forward. The BKB, the Shadow Blade, Pure trying to get out of here. The dust is still on the Drow, though. Tree tossed forward, and there's the crit. Noob slays the beast. Drow down for 80 seconds and another catch here to take down White Mon's techies. Oh, it looked really good. And I mean, that, that is the big item for Drow. That's 35 minute or I guess a, a bit later. Maybe 37, 38 minute. Daedalus. Ooh, doesn't hit anything. Static Storm whiffs. DK's chasing the Rubik, but there's the stolen stampede. So Omar is out of there. Malik going to surge away from White Mon as well. TA2000 BKB'd up to chase down 9 class with the Eclipse. The trees drop to try and break the vision, but get shut down immediately after. Topson's dragon also trying to fly away. Maybe even considering cutting the wave. Mirroring the map movement here from their opponents. And not entertaining or playing into this Aegis fight. As you were saying, it's not one they can or want to take. Topson might still get picked off though here with TA2000 showing off the Silver Edge. Catches up to the DK. Very quick and easy there with the Eclipse. So, so challenging. Here I catch multiple people in these static storms. Oh, the oh, early mine. warning system. The mine. It allows Pure to get away. Malik trying to move in onto Toby now and forcing the BKB out of the Centaur. 
What does magic resist when he's got a- If you have Tiny there, just Tiny who can TP to an outpost, somebody needs to react to it. Otherwise, you're going to lose another set and you can still defend it. But for now, it's going to be 5v5. Yeah, I mean, Tundra probably could have taken this Roche like three or four times over. Finally, they get the Aegis. Noob is blinked in. The Static Storm dropped on his head. There's Pure the save. Jobson trying to turn and do the damage. The Earth Splinter looks decent as the Luna moves forward. TA2000 slaying Toby. And now Pure in a lot of trouble. The right-click damage out of this Luna is substantial. Takes the first life of the Drow. White Monster dead to Noob in the back lines. Pure uh -oh, going to refresh up to try and BKB. But look at the damage. TA2000. With this Kanda just shredding the Drow Ranger. It's too much. They have double Kanda. Your barracks is absolutely destroyed. 35 seconds without Drow. They need to poke. See if he does have a buyback. He does. You know that. Another catch. Another toss. Toby BKB's up. They have the turn onto Noob here potentially. Maybe a kill on the Tiny. TA2000 starting to shred through the Stanky. Dragon Knight with another vacuum. The Thompson DK's dead. Buyback is available, and you're right, Tiny survives on 50 health. Now the Thunderstrike has killed him off, barely dying at the tail end of the fight. While Thompson bought back and blinks in. Looking at this ET as an easy target. Toby could also make that second initiation if he needs it. As Malik, well, he's going to get stunned mid-TP there. Getting caught, surges and tries to run away, but the Drow Ranger finally unloads a bit of damage while Ducala's TP's home. Ooh, they're thrilled your treads because you don't have enough to buy Aghanim's Scepter, eat it, keep the treads. Tundra making a move top. Stampede and a jump on the ET. Static That's Storm kill. for Ducalis as well. Get him. Malik though, the vacuum onto White Mon and Toby. Omar. Eclipse out from the <laughs> Luna. Safe. Noob into the back lines, forcing Pure to BKB. Tiny, very tanky, gonna walk all the damage off and just get away from danger here, it looks like. Dragonite and Tanky is going to make that second jump with the new BKB up on Topson. They get on top of Noob. Tiny maybe now in a bit of trouble. But you look at the back lines. Look at TA2000 getting onto Pure, forcing the Drow back. Hey, Pure Good though, unloading damage onto Malik. Darkseer mm. TPs out safely. And now the Loon is exposed. They have left TA2000 all alone. Trying to go 1v4. Omar and TA2000, they get a lot done. Forcing two buybacks out of Tundra now. The jump back in from Topson again. Invis, Luna, the damage from the Glaive, the bouncing hit. But they got the stun to hold them back. Still going to finish off the DK. And he's dead for two minutes. TA2000, another glimpse in the big crits. Finally landing from Pure. Can they get another oh, one? Yes, they can. Ooh, I thought they were going to... And down to half HP. Below that even. Tundra slowly staggering hero by hero forward towards the pit as they smoke in towards it. Roshan not dead just yet. Static Storm Good static storm. And forward. Great move in from Tundra now. Aegis grabbed by T2000 though. They've blown up Malik. No dogs here. And Luna's being annihilated. Inside the pit disappears while Pure gets a double kill. The Drow Ranger, Divine Rapier going to work for Tundra. Uh oh, and the they got again. him. Deeper from Toby. Omar's in trouble. Drow Ranger He's being dead. chased. Malik and T2000 kill off Pure. Rapier on the floor. And Quest Strike back. The buyback difference here coming into play. Drow dead for two minutes now. And hey, Quest, it looks like they might have this one in the bag now. Malik refreshed for, just for vacuum so he can kill Disruptor. Drow Ranger did, what, 6,000 damage in that previous fight. And they caught Thompson. He's not getting out of this one. Absolutely no escape. Double buyback. Not On him. He did put Manta Style in his backpack. Sitting on almost 10,000 gold. Maybe it's time to upgrade his Agadem Scepter. Maybe buy a refresher for double BKB. Uh-oh, Thompson's been caught. He's done. Dead for two minutes. Static Storm's dropped on them. A nice bit of damage on the TA-2000. But life's stealing back up thanks to Satanic. And GG called. 56 minutes in. Quest getting through this pure Drow Ranger. Drow with that Rapier. Not paying off. Very good execution coming out from them. Like some of these fights, I gotta give credit to Omar. He's been saving so many people. Whoever gets initiated on Blink Stun, caught inside a static storm. You can group up, you push the shot, silence. Hey, though, looks like Dire Creeps, for the most part, are gonna move to that Radiant Tier 1. Well, down at bottom, first blood onto Omar. Pure gets it, and Malik's in a spot of danger himself. No mana left, Ooh, no surge start. available. Pure with a double kill in his bottom lane. Huge start for Tundra in the bottom lane. Now you have level two Lunar Blessing. He's also keeping a point, maybe. Gyro Io. Take Toby down to about half, but Topson 
His first rotation, the roll and the kick onto TA2000. Now with a lift into Stomp, they've got the control. Stuns for days out of Tundra. Grab the kill on the Gyrocopter. We've seen the same play yesterday or the day before. No, yesterday was a tiebreaker day, so the day before, where they immediately, like, rotated. Oh, some big damage in the bottom lane. They wanted to utilize that Thunder God's rat. It's... Nice little regen rune for Thompson. And he has cracked level 6. Wants to get some urn charges going. And Carlos with the tether across to Noob. Still being chased with the magnetized going. And stones being placed. Topson trying to give chase with regen rune still there. Malik dies to pure down south as Topson goes diving behind tier 1 mid. Having spent the roll now though, and Omar's rotation gets them the kill on Topson. <laughs> Quest just dragging him deeper and deeper to find the takedown on this Earth Spirit. Yeah, you are out of there. We'll see what he gets up to. Tundra eyeing up this gyro right now. Four heroes swing into the top lane. Good cogs from Whitemon to set it up. A roll in and a lift on gyro. The heals are coming and Thunder God's Wrath is a lot of damage. They take down Whitemon. A good avalanche and the Zeus's rotation, but Noob's out of mana. Can't offer any more DPS. Pure is here. Topson and Pure, they rotated back in towards Ducalis, trying to get on top of the IO. Running out of control, though, as the wall dropped onto Topson now. Two for one trade. Quest lose the gyro, but they get two pretty decent kills, and it might be more. Omar surged and very speedy, getting towards nine class. The lift puts him down. He might to still low get ground. him at the toss. He gets the toss. What? Okay, very <laughs> nicely done. The bridge is too narrow. Now, White One, he's come back in, respawned, and tried to fight Farming a cogs. little bit more. Uh, Yasha nearly done. And pressuring bottom tier one. So kind of making noise in that bottom lane while the rest of them are looking at mid. A lift onto Omar, gonna get the grab on the tiny. A missed roll from Topson there as Omar's gonna toss White One's clockwork around. Inevitable death for Omar, though. Taken down in that mid lane while they're looking at pure. A lot of early skirmishes and scraps. It's still, you know, waiting, a waiting period for these primary blink daggers and mechs and team fight items. Quest is still going to make a move, though. Avalanche onto the Rubik. Take him down, and with a catapult, they can do a bit of damage here to the tier one, if, if not just take it outright. 345 damage. Because if your mana gets burned, you get 70 extra. Not a joke. Let's say you get bonked twice. Blink reveal. There's Omar. Tiny trying to blow up tops and nice vacuum to cancel the roll. Nine class also dying. Trying to stick nearby to defend the tops and earth spirit. Tundra lose two heroes. Have we seen Hookshot a... being used aggressively? There was one attempt in this bottom lane hmm. to try to get him killed. And... I'm tethered up right now to Carlos and TA2000. Just out of sight as Tundra smoke into enemy triangle. Oh, they're guessing incorrectly. They're pretty close to it. Maybe they can connect in here. They do see them and stomp them. Toby with a jump right on the Io Gyro. There's no way you can survive this, surely. Getting blown up by the pure Luna. Massive kills here. As Quest come back in with a wall dropped on them. Hookshot there from White Mon though to grab onto Malik's dogs here. Omar blown up by Toby and Thompson rolling deeper. They're going to find Malik on the left-hand side of this fight now. Control him up with just a loosened beam. Tag him with a damage. Rocket Flare to slow him. The surge, though, has bought enough time for Malik to get a bit of distance. He's, He's trying to dig in. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to hide. Oh, hang on. Has he juked them? They, they know. know. He's gone. They know. Now they've found him. Four it, kills in a row. Nothing lost and everything gained by Tundra. It was still go top. Right now, it doesn't feel like they want to be taking those fights, especially into Aegis. It might be too difficult. I want to see Tundra go... Oh... One man stun. It's gonna be enough. But they can steal enemy XP rune and they can steal the Tormi. West. They shot the here. Mid. Pure. He's got Aegis BKB, but in they come with a stun. Chain disabling. BKB's out and the lift was perfect. Malik, he's gonna try and surge forward to hunt people down. But Thompson from the high ground sees a target and dives straight on That's in. Amplify Big damage magnetized. on him. Massive damage from Topson. He's getting zapped, but he rolls away. The BKB up gives him the safety he needs. Oh, but he's going to get back in back still. Topson, he went 1v5 and died. <laughs> yeah, you're strong, but uh, you're not that strong. Because <laughs> you're tethered to Io. 
Right, it's like wand plus Io is a lot of burst heal rather than that sustained heal. Topson again rolling very far forward. BKB'd up and magnetizing the gyro. Noob is going to have to jump away from White Mon. The Clockwork tried to initiate on the Zeus, but now he's wide open. Noob's chasing the clock. Topson's being jumped. Toby's in with a blink stomp onto the IO, and they're blowing to call us up, but the heels are there. They kept him alive, and a double kill arrives from Malik. The IO, the dogs here, the healing combo. Close to death, but oh, they're still not done. All, White Mon went in. White still, still in he trouble. Hook shot. Okay. <laughs> Tundra. Oh, they're not five heroes in there. You can see that they're losing these. And look what he has in quick buy. Hex. He wants to be the one with slightly more oh. control. They feel like they need that little bit of extra oomph. Damn. Avalanche toss is not top. enough. Uh, you want that additional layer of stun. And there's the blink toss back. Trying to catch out Toby. Stampede gets him the distance away because he was nearly dead. Omar falls, but Thompson's in trouble. The gyro just unloads a full payload. Takes out the Earth Spirit. And they're chasing forward for more. Nine class getting scouted, slowed down by the Flactory. TA2000, a couple of hits to get him taken down and killed off. <laughs> it was such a pathetic attempt to see Darkshire try to kill a centaur with the right. They've got all their neutral items. They want a satanic a farm. It was just ah, satanic okay. for TA2000. That's a big a difference. Look at Pure. Something goes rats caps him out. They say hi, Pure. And maybe goodbye, Pure. BKB's up. He turns the fight. Oh, the hook shot in is a good one. White Mon's gonna hold back TA2000 and Noob. They jump forward at the top, and then the roll Rocket fails. Rocket just got stun him. in some serious trouble. They're not the done. Toss. The stolen toss might save him there. Omar is dead, though. Blank in a second. They need to surge him, and he's going for it. He got him. <gasps> he got him. Pure. He's down. A triple kill for TA2000. All right, Roshan's available, but there's also the... They're gonna have the vision advantage here as well. And this could be the smoke gank to end the game. Toby, he's caught. No BKB he's or stuck. anything. Stuck atop the cliff. <laughs> and Tiny launches him even further skywards. He reaches the heavens, almost touches God, and then lands to the... He's sending out the courier. As Gyro is stacked. He's just on the high ground, breaking buildings. The final lane of barracks here for Tundra. About to crumble. Double Angel blade Gyro. Now. Let's see if they can get him. She's Darks here. Thunder God's Wrath to scout and see the Luna pure in trouble. White Mon hookshot with Thompson's initiation. Darks here. He's getting burst down by the Eclipse here. Does get a bit of distance, but the turnaround from TA2000. Get in on top of the Luna. Kill her off. 90 seconds on the sidelines. Uh -oh. No pure, no Luna. And it looks like this game is over. I guess the Courier has the Rapier, but your hero who's meant to hold it is dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had Sacred Relic. Uh, so, on the courier, but the fight was over anyway. I had this, like, bit of an opportunity to try to go and play aggressive with the lineup because you've.